Let's take a look at complex numbers on a T89 calculator. Our first one is the square root of negative 49. Now if we put this in, we do second and then the multiplication to get to the square root. Puts the square root, puts the beginning parentheses, and we'll put in negative 49. Closing parentheses, and now one of two things will happen if you press enter at this point. It'll either give you a 7i or it'll give you an error. Now if I press enter on mine, it came up and told me non-real result. Escape to cancel. Now if I hit escape, if I go into mode, so if I press my mode button, and I go down to complex format, instead of having it say real, if I right arrow and choose rectangular and press enter and enter one more time, now if I do square root of negative 49, it gives me 7i. So, if you get this error, you just need to go in and change your mode and then you can get the i. Now if I have, for example, a negative 12, put a closing parentheses and then press enter, you see it not only um, gives you that, but also simplifies the, uh, the radical, the square root. Okay, to add uh, complex numbers together. You pretty well just type in exactly as you see it. So I do a beginning parentheses, 1 plus 5. Now the i is above your catalog. So if I do second catalog, that gives me my i. Closing parentheses plus beginning parentheses. 8 minus 2 second catalog for the I and then closing parentheses and then press enter. So our answer will be 9 plus 3I. Now subtraction. I'll do a beginning parentheses 3 plus 2 second catalog for the I closing parentheses minus beginning parentheses 4 minus 7 then second catalog for the I and then closing parentheses and then press enter and that gives us our answer is negative 1 uh, plus 9i okay multiplication Again, we'll just type it in pretty much as we see it. So I'll do beginning parentheses, 11 minus i, so do second catalog for the i. Closing parentheses, beginning parentheses, 2 plus 3, and second catalog for the i. Closing parentheses, enter. And our answer is 25 plus 31i. Now division. Now the trick to plugging in um, uh, division, um, though we don't actually divide, we're just trying to get rid of the i in the denominator. That's our main goal. The trick to it is whenever you have more than a single number, single i, single anything, on top and bottom of your fraction, you have to put parentheses around it. So when I put this in my calculator, I put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom. So I do beginning parentheses, 3 plus 2, and then I do my second catalog for the i. Closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, 5 minus second catalog for the I. Closing parentheses, and then press enter. And uh, you see we got uh, 1 half plus 1 half I. And that would be your answer. Now, I'm not sure if uh, this comes up as default format here. If you don't see a fraction here, it could be that you need to go into mode and um, there's a pretty print option down here and mine is set to on if I do a right arrow and choose off press enter and then enter again and now if I press enter okay that gets pretty pretty print just affects this over here so hopefully you're seeing a fraction at this point I'm definitely not an expert on a T89 I'm just trying to learn enough about it to um, to get my uh, students come in with it uh, through uh, whatever class, particular math class they're in. Okay, press mode, come back to pretty print, and choose on. What is the, there is a uh, option here. I can't remember what, oh here it is, exact or approximate. If you do the right arrow there, um, the approximate is where you get decimals.
I believe. Let's double check that. Okay, so I do that. There it is. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5i. So if you're seeing decimals here, if you go on your mode and you down arrow until you get to the, um, what's it say? Exact approximate, right arrow, and choose exact. I'm going to choose auto because I think that's what mine was set to. But exact will give you fractions instead of decimals. Okay, now if I press enter, you see we got our one half plus one half i. Okay, let's take a look at this one, i to the fourth. So, well, I'll do my second catalog for the i, caret, four, and then enter. And that gives us our one. Now here's another i to a power, i to the 401st. Uh, so I'll do second catalog for the i, caret, 401, enter. Now we get i. Now what? why do I include two of those? Well, if we're looking at other Texas Instruments calculator or even other calculators in general, sometimes they'll have a, a rounding error that occurs because they're calculating it numerically. Well, that's not the way a T-89 works, and you see it gives you the exact answer. So a T-89 is pretty nice in that regard. That's how you do complex numbers on a T-89 calculator.